myself as a professional wrestler, I'm known as the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. I think over the years, I've never held back. I, I've, I've never been afraid of, of being different. And the music's always been around in my mind, and I've always just had such a love for it. I've always been a creative person. It's my way of speaking and expressing myself. With wrestling fans, I think I'm the daredevil and really appear larger than life, alien to a certain extent. One of the catchiest lines of one of the songs we're gonna finish up today is uh, the difference between you and I. That's uh, why I'm lucky uh, to have the fan base I have because I'm a professional wrestler and to be so passionate now about my musical journey. I mean, that's just a huge advantage for me. What's happening here in Nashville for the first time me stepping into this world, man, it's exciting and it's gonna stand out. On this record, I would say the majority of songs that, that will be on it is uh, basically like journal entries that, that I've done over the years. I love that bridge, man. Can you scream just wild? It doesn't Wait, even have scream, to be a like, note. You scream mess or and just carry it out, try to carry it out or something? Or? Just yeah. reach into your uh, deep, dark chasm of cave, Can I hear that last little part back? Just, yep. Yeah, I just had to try it. Yeah, don't even worry about a note, just scream. Well, it's a cold. Back when I really got into Pearl Jam, Stone Temple Pilots, you know, Tool, all of that, that style, that groove, uh, just, I fell in love with it and I started writing more and more and then I met Junior Merrill, which is my guitar player from our band, Pearl Rock Swide Gin, and uh, we've known each other for 10 years and been working on these songs for, for that long. We've been doing this for about 10 years. Jeff, you know, his passion is wrestling but it's over time, it's also developed into music. He's grown a lot uh, vocally, and uh, we started out, I played like heavy music when I met him, and I, you know, he, he listened to a CD that I had, and I was like, here, check these out. He fell in love with them. So we kind of went from there, and we would just write together every day. We've got like 30 songs to pick from. We've got some really cool, different energies on the record, and this is uh, for music lovers. This is what this is about, and it's, it's, it's got its own original approach. Was cool. When I hear a produced version of a song that we've done and, and I like it, I mean, that's all that matters. Sure, it'd be great if everybody else relates to it and likes it, but I think a thing with my songs too, it, it don't really hit you at first, but, and, and I've experienced this with, with past albums I've bought or whatever. Like I hear it the first time, I'm like, I don't know. I, I don't know if I really like that, but then I'll hear it a month down the road and I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I didn't like that. This is awesome. So I, I think it's gonna, it's gonna grow on people, but yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see. Kind of yeah, that. dude. I went into I, early, right? Yeah, you did, but I, I liked how you came in with that, and then when you stopped, the band just had that moment of of space. Okay. And I loved how you picked it up there, dude. I mean, I, I like that arrangement. All I right. do. First of all, I, I want fans to know I finally came out of the basement because, man, I, I, this is the first time I've actually got out of my, it. It's all cool and comfortable when I'm at home in my basement doing demos, but I'm finally stepping out, you know, and, and giving this a shot. These are songs we needed drums for and we needed to play with other people, so it's nice. Like, we got a great producer, Dale Oliver, uh, great studio musicians. And that's just what's so cool about the musical process, especially being here in Nashville and seeing these professionals get it down and how, how they get to feeling it and just, oh no, we can do this, we can do this, and then it all just collides and, oh, and it's just really exciting. Jeff's a uh, creative person, I think everybody knows all the way around, and he had presented me with a bunch of material he had written over the last decade with uh, uh, his uh, friend and co-writer, Paul Merrill, Jr. So I just started, you know, producing the songs and, and uh, you know, we're five songs in and then we're tracking three more. Uh, here at the, the, the Big Rock Palace. We're working on the first song I was doing yesterday. It was all scratch vocal day for me, and today is final vocal. And uh, now the ending of the song, Going Home, the song's named The Parent. We're getting kind of like a core group here together, uh, like a big chorus, and uh, a lot of people singing at one time, whatever you call that, and just kind of out of control and crazy about, you know, uh, it's apparently gonna kill us if we don't gain control of this, you know, it's the idea behind the whole song. And, uh, and so now we're gonna get in a group of guys that were amazing yesterday and put this masterpiece together, and uh, so proud to be a part of this. That, that, that last deal there is killer. Yeah. It's original. 
And in this day and time, to me, finding something that's original is, is kind of hard because we all compare everything to something else. We just recorded a song called A Parent, and it's amazing. Like, we came in, it was structured way different, and we came in, met with Dale, met, met with the other guys, and we came in and just ripped it apart, put it back together. My songs are all, I consider them a translation of what the music says. There's a lot of, even when there's no singing during a song, I mean, and, and my definition of that is that the music speaks, you know, that's what I always you say, let the music speak. You were in a perfect frame a minute ago. Yeah, uh, you wanna try it again? Well, I wanna get, you know, why this is in your head, the way we, we've done it, I want you to sing it a time or two more okay. from the top, is that cool? Sure, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, let's do that before we experiment too much. The more I get to know these songs, I mean, the more they become a part of me. A lot of Jeff's stuff is, is written from a real life situation, which you know makes it, I think, even more endearing and intriguing to, you know, a true fan and a listener. What have you done in ten years? You know, I've I couldn't even begin to tell you all the things that happened to me in my life in ten years. You know, Jeff's got a two year old now. He's married, so it's like he's got a lot of experiences. Both of us have had a lot, and we've really ran the gamut of what we can, can do when we try to push ourselves and like write different songs and try to write catchy songs or poppy songs and just be experimental. What everybody hears isn't just necessarily, you know, a band in a room playing. There's a lot of uh, different, uh, you know, sounds that go together to kind of convey uh, the overall, you know, sound. And, and you, you know, everybody's kind of searching for uh, their own identity. And that's kind of what we're doing here is we keep refining, uh, you know, Jeff's sound and the music and just, uh, really trying to, you know, hone it in and create our own own uh, voice. One song that sticks in my mind right now more than any is, and this is going back 10 years too, and it's, it'll always be the, the goose bumper, you know, I still get the chills. It's called Explanation, and uh, it's a long, just cool storytelling type song. In the song, I, I say 27 years in, so uh, I think when I perfected that song, I was probably 27. 35 now, but it's I, I kept the lyrics the same because it is just a it's a really special song uh, to me But that's probably by far my favorite. It's called explanation The message in all these songs I think more than any are just uh, Heartfelt deep emotion and and it's and it's what's made me feel better if I'm feeling down I sit down if I have a bad day I'll sit down and play my guitar and it'll cheer me up if we can do that to one person then I think we accomplished what we set out to do. It's a passion for both of us. Like, it's, it's, it's an outlet, too, it's to be creative. Basically, Junior Merrill sends me an idea, and then I, I get it in my head, and I, that's where it comes from. It's music first. I mean, there's times when I'll, I'll have an idea in my head the way I sing it, but then I'll, in the future, I'll hear an instrumental that Junior Merrill sends me, and, and it speaks to me. It just tells me it's my translation of what the music says and it seems to fit and I can make it fit melody wise. I'll normally sit down and uh, come up with a part of the song or I'll write the whole song and I'll send it to, to Jeff. And then, you know, I'll, he'll either like it or say, you know, change this part or whatever. And then uh, he'll send it back vocally and then we'll do that and then move on to the next song. It's crazy, but whenever I get in that zone and I'll spend hours at a time, I have this one topic or vibe in mind and I'll just listen to it over and over and get to writing and it's just basically, it, it, it speaks to me. It just tells me it's my translation of what the music says and that's the beautiful thing about music with other artists. Like you could hear one of my songs, the instrumental, and give it to another singer or artist and it would be completely different. It's their translation of what the music says. We've kind of lucked into uh, the meeting of the minds with you know my production skills and you know, I've played guitar on Shine Down and Papa Roach and Hailstorm and a bunch of rock bands. So anyway, I wanted to try to assemble like a a unique sound. Put a little more intensity on everything. Okay. You know, a little anger in there okay. you know, without getting too wild. Okay. And that that that's the take that I'm, okay. I need more of than that. All right. In this mic. And I don't know what genre I am or style I am, but uh. Maybe genreless, you know. I just I don't really categorize what what style of music I, I have or am. It's just scary because we really don't know what it is right now, uh, as far as. But it's just so powerful to me. But once it's out there, I mean, I I definitely think it's gonna you know reach the masses. And when I say masses, I mean people that aren't a professional wrestling fan. You know, I think music fans in general are gonna hear these songs and go, whoa, who is it? That guy. Everybody knows how creative Jeff is with art and wrestling, and he gets that it factor, you know, uh, 
from just his fans, and it's just uh, uh, just something you either have or you don't, and he has that. Luckily, I am a, a well-known professional wrestler, and hopefully I can uh, just transcend into the into the music world. Past my theme songs I've came out to when I come to the ring, myself and Dale Oliver have done all those, and the way I feel about it all now and, and getting warmed up to the whole stage presence, um, it's growing on me, man, and I think I can only get better. There's so much room to grow. Yeah, dude, that's the attitude, man. That's the ticket. That's cool. You're getting comfortable and singing. The biggest difference is uh, you have to talk, you have to sing, you have to breathe right, you have to do all this right. The thing about wrestling, you know, I, I, the nerves are going, and once I get in there and start getting beat up or beaten up, it all the nerves just go away. It's, the, it's just the aggression, the adrenaline, all that. But I, I think that's going to carry over. I mean, because the more I get to know these songs, I mean, the more they become a part of me, I mean, basically, and like, it's just gonna come out. Then the performance is one thing, but then uh, as a singer, you have to interact with the crowd. It's just, uh, it's amazing, but that's what I'm gonna have to do, and, uh, and I, I think it's naturally gonna happen. I think that's a unique thing, and I mean, I think we see that in the industry, you know, with American Idol and, and The Voice launching people's career through, through TV. I'm unaware of, of uh, the music industry, really. This is, this is all new to me. I mean, I don't know what it's like to have a professionally produced you know, CD out yet, but uh, I'm in the early stages of that. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, they're similar, though. I mean, there's no off season. When a band's on the road, they're on the road all the time. Naturally, they take breaks. But that's the thing about pro wrestling is, man, you're, you're gone year round, and there's no off season. Wrestling is definitely an art form. I've always labeled it that. It's always been like really violent physical theater to me and, um, and, and it is, I approach it as an art, you know, um, and I think that's another thing that's really separated me from, from everybody else uh, in professional wrestling because I truly do look at it as a, as a complete craft of mine and, and an art form that I've pursued and, and made my professional life. Jeff has a fan base of, uh, you know, the wrestling fans for years and, and what he and his brother did and what he does now on his own. And I think just his persona, to me, is, a, is like a rock star. With wrestling fans, I think I'm, I'm uh, well, my claim to fame is, you know, TLC matches or ladder matches. You gotta write the ladder song. Yeah. The ladder song. And, and, and your tremolo, you're going <laughs> Hopefully I can look back on this moment and say, man, I went for it and it was all good. You know, and then, uh, you know, I beat myself up for years and, and I will always be a professional wrestler. That's just in my blood, but, but mu music's right there with it. He's been pushing himself. Uh, he'll surprise me. He, when he writes lyrics at home when we're not writing songs. So, you know, and he's starting to play guitar again and, and do piano and like, he's very passionate. I just can't, I can't wait till the album comes out so everybody can think what they want to about the song. You know, I can tell you what it's about, but I don't really want to tell you what the song's about. I want you to figure it out from what it means to you, you know? I think the biggest hurdle in the, the music world uh, is being, I want to say accepted, but I don't really care if I'm accepted. As long as I like it, that's, all, that's what matters. As long as it makes me feel good, that's just, so honestly, I don't know what's going to happen once it's out there. That's just kind of te the test that we're, we're going to have to uh, see if we pass or fail. You just, you know, you kind of roll that dice and you follow your dream. You the message mainly that I'm sending out with, with these songs to my fans that are in professional wrestling and hopefully new fans um, basically is uh, anybody who loves anything as much as I love music. I mean, man, I mean, you can't deny it or forget about it. I mean, if it's that this strong and passionate, man, you have to go for this until I fail, you know, that's for sure. There's a lot of great things on there, a lot of great stories in, in uh, Jeff's songs that I think a lot of, not only his fans can relate to, but I think a lot of people in real life situations. So I think it's gonna be a great CD for people to pick up and I, I don't think they're gonna be disappointed. Now I'm in my comfort zone and which will naturally just lead to great things. There's no limits. I can, I can be whatever I wanna be. I'm a Jeff Hardy, a professional wrestler and I just, I really took it to the highest level.